So you have a photography business, or maybe you're trying to create one. Maybe you're trying to go full-time to quit your current job. Maybe you're just trying to get some side work to expand your portfolio. Either way, you've probably asked many people, how do I get more clients? And word of mouth has worked kind of, but not really consistent, consistently. Maybe you've tried Yelp, maybe you've tried Google. Well, I've been there. This video is not clickbait. I went from not knowing at all what I was doing, having almost zero jobs except for here and there, to being completely booked for months at a time. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography. It's always good to see you again. If you wanna hit that subscribe button and help me get to 10,000 subscribers, that would be greatly helpful. If not, let me earn it by watching this video and you can subscribe at the end if you are not already subscribed. Today we're talking about an app that I found because one thing that I was having trouble with was finding new clients. I tried Yelp, I tried Google Ads, I used word of mouth, and I actually spent a lot of money on Google Ads and Yelp for very little return. And I actually did better on Yelp, but it was really super pricey, but either way. So I needed to find a reasonable way to get more clients and get busier because my calendar was empty and I needed to fill it up. Word of mouth only went so far and I just needed to find something else. So I put myself in my own customer's shoes. I was like, okay, so if I was trying to find myself, what would I do? So I Googled, I said, photographer in my area, right? and it came up with a lot of responses. And one of the things that came up was an ad for a, an app or a website called Thumbtack. Now, I've never heard of it before, and I'm gonna break this video down into pros, cons, troubleshooting, and kind of walk you through it and see if it's right for you. This video is not at all sponsored by them. In fact, I contacted them to see if they would sponsor them because I had such good results. I called them and I said, listen, I found you guys randomly. I've used you for two months now and my schedule is completely booked. I've had great results and had just awesome. So I wanna make a YouTube video to promote you guys because I've been doing really well with you guys. So this is actually on my real life experience, not a sponsor video at all. So getting back into it. So I found Thumbtack, I created a profile, and I started getting leads. So let's get into it and start from the very beginning of finding the website and going from there. When you first come to the Thumbtack website, you'll notice that there's hire a pro and find customers and then kind of what you're wanting to do and then the zip code of your area. You'll also notice that this lady here is holding a Canon camera. Just saying, hashtag team Canon. <laughs> Anyways, so what you wanna do is you wanna be a pro. What a customer does is they put in what they're looking for, say photographer, right, portrait wedding photographer, their zip code, press search, and it gives them a list of pros. Now really fast, Thumbtack is essentially just a lead generation platform. What it does is it takes all of these professionals and then it generates customers for these professionals. It creates leads. That is all it does. It does nothing else, so it brings you tailored leads just for you, exactly what you're looking for. So all of the, the leads that you get are hot customers, they're hot leads, meaning they are ready to book you. So that is a big pro right there. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description and this is the standard referral link that all Thumbtack professionals get. This is not a special link that Thumbtack gave me, this is just their standard one, but what it does is if you join and you get a certain amount of leads or spend a certain amount of money, we each get a credit toward leads. So if you sign up, make sure to use that link in the description of this video because then we'll both get a credit. And if you do it on your mobile phone, it will take you to a browser. Make sure you sign up before you download the app, that way we both get the credit. Uh, there was a little bug there, and so if you download the app, then create the account, the, the the referral gets lost. So click the link, create the account, move on. And then it'll bring you to this page here. Now let's say you're in Charlotte, North Carolina or wherever you are. So you put your location if it doesn't all automatically populate and then you put whatever you do. So let's say you're a photographer, let's say you're a plumber, let's say you're a handyman, let's say you're a wedding planner. There, it, It's for anybody, it's not, this is, platform is not just for photographers, let's say you're a, a guitar lesson teacher. It's for any kind of profession to generate leads. So because you're probably a photographer, if you're watching this video, it makes sense, we're gonna put photographer, good? So then it gives you all these options. So pick the one that's most relevant. If it's simply a photographer, click photographer. If you wanna do only wedding and event, click that, so on and so forth. Let's just click photographer, press get leads. Now it'll take you to select services that you offer. 
So here you can select exactly what you want, really narrow it down to what leads you want. This is why I say it's so freaking specific and allows you to get the exact leads that you're looking for. Good, so that's what I wanna do. Okay, get next. And then it's going to ask you to put in an email address and sign up. Now I've already done this. So I'm gonna to go to my account and uh, there's gonna be quite a bit of stuff that's gonna be blurred out just for privacy sake. All right, so here's my profile and you can see that um, my profile is completely created. I have my website, my phone number, address uh, or location, year founded, the company. It allows you to give you an introduction here. Um, it also does a background check to make sure you're a legit person. It allows you to upload photos and videos, for examples, and it allows you to offer special discounts, remote consultations, things like that. And you just fill out all this information. Once you have it all done, then you have created a profile. Now, when you first start Thumbtack, it'll allow you to get 10 reviews. Now, these 10 reviews can come from anybody. So friends, family, previous customers, things like that. It allows you to get started. So you go into the review section and you'll see it when you're setting up your account and you press ask for reviews. This link you then send to people and say, hey, please review me on Thumbtack. Now, remember, it allows you to get 10. Once you have 10, you can't continue to get additional reviews unless they are from jobs on Thumbtack. And we'll get into that soon but it at least gets you started. Now, once you have your whole profile set up and it takes a little bit to kind of get it worked out and kind of figure things out, it's gonna ask you to set up lead generation and it will probably ask you to spend $200 to get $300 or $300 to get $400. It'll ask you to spend, put in some money for lead generation because what it's gonna do is once you set up your jobs and let's go look at this really quick, go to my services, so here are my services. I am advertising for portrait photography, wedding and event photography, engagement photography, and headshot photography. I have a budget of $250 a week. What this means is I am willing to spend $250 a week to get leads for portrait photography, wedding event photography, engagement photography, and headshot photography. When you set these up, you will automatically be sent and charged for these leads. Now this is important when something matches what you're looking for. When something, let's say for portrait photography, someone's looking for a portrait photographer and it's in the specifications that I've put in, they select me and that lead is sent to me, I am charged. Whether I get the lead, respond to the lead or anything, I am charged for that lead. And that's where it becomes important because if you're not motivated, if you're, well, to call it, if you are a lazy worker, you are going to not be well on Thumbtack because it's just gonna charge you leads and you're not gonna get the jobs. You have to be somewhat aggressive, not necessarily in a bad way, but you have to be quick. If you get a lead, you need to get on top of that lead and close them because on Thumbtack, there's a lot of professionals. So let's say I'm a customer and I'm looking for a portrait photographer. So I fill out my information and I can send it to up to five photographers within the first four hours. And then after four hours, I, if I get no responses or I'm not happy with any of my contacts, I can send it to more photographers. Now, most of the times they're hot leads. So people are looking to book someone right away. So if you respond really quick, you have a very high chance to close that lead. The faster you respond, the more chances you are to close that lead. Now let's see how it works on our end, on the pros end. So we're gonna go up here to leads. So when you get a lead, when you get a direct lead, it will pop up here. It will say, new, or it'll pop up on your phone and so on and so forth. It'll say new direct lead. Now Thumbtack gives you bonuses for response time. So if you get a direct lead, text them back right away. So what'll happen is you'll have a direct lead here, you'll click it, plus reply, read the information, reply to the person. Now, the faster you respond, the more Thumbtack will kind of boost you because they see that you are motivated. You're willing to put in the work to get the job. The other thing is you can also do is you can put can't do this. So whether you respond immediately or put can't do this lead is important. So that is one big tip with Thumbtack, respond as fast as you can. The faster you respond, the more you get boosted by Thumbtack. Okay, now once you've responded, your lead is moved into messages. Now, a lot of this stuff is gonna be blurred out because it is personal information of people, so I'm gonna blur out a lot of this. So let's click on one of my leads that I have not confirmed yet, I'm still working. So here was this, this lead that came in, and here is kind of the information on the right side. Again, a lot of it's gonna be blurred out, so it's the, the, the best I can do for this information. 
So here's the information. It says this person wants the dates. Um, they can put in the dates April 14th, 15th, 16th, or May 28th, or so June 2nd. They can put in the different dates. Then they put in kind of uh, the times, additional details, what it actually is, and so on. Now, when we scroll down, you'll see that my estimate for a job like this is about $150. You, you put in your, your bare minimum and then you work it with the client. This job, you can see that this person only picked me, which is really, really good. That means that this person had all these other leads and they only picked me. I paid $12.36 for this lead. Now, the cost of the lead is variable. This is one thing I'm not too fond of how the Thumbtack system works. I've, I've talked to Thumbtack. I've also looked at all of what they wrote right up and it's very general. It's leads are based on competition, availability, the the budget of the of the person because they up here you'll notice they put in budget right here. They put in a budget of 125 and it generally ranges between 2% and 10% is the is the lead cost based on the budget. But it's so variable. Like I I would I would love it if they defined like lead cost is 5%. Keep it simple, but there's no like defined amount. So this is what I mean when you see a lead cost. If you get a direct lead, which means that that job specifically fit what you're looking for, you will pay for it immediately, regardless of if you get it or not. So it's very, again, I, I stress that it is very important. Now, once you reply to them in the messages, Thumbtack will give you their phone number. And this is where you should take the initiative, either call them or text them or get in touch with them to talk about the event and see if you can accommodate their request. Because if you wait for them to respond on the Thumbtack messaging system, by then someone might have already got it, or might have already booked the job, and you have now spent the lead money and didn't get the job. So this is where Thumbtack can cost you money or be very lucrative for you. You just have to make it work. So be aware, be on top of it, and you will find it's very successful. So once you book the job and you've got it confirmed, you can come up here and you can adjust it to job confirmed, job done, or not hired. This is basically for you. This is not really for Thumbtack. This is for you to keep organization. Let's say you get the job. Well, switch it to job confirmed. Then it'll give you the option to automatically send a review request to the client on a certain day. You can choose to do this or not. If you don't choose to do this, then once you've completed the job, you then come up here, you switch it to job done, and then you can send a review request. Um, if you don't get hired for the job, you just simply click not hired and you move on. As you can see here, I have job confirmed, job done, job confirmed, job confirmed, not hired, refunded. So what does that mean? Let's say you get a job and you cannot do it. How does Thumbtack know to not give you leads for certain days. So let's say you're booked all of May 1st and you get a lead for May 1st. Well, you can't do it, right? So how does Thumbtack know how to do this? Well, they have a calendar feature and you can, again, you can do all of this in your app. So in the case for the calendar, let's say you book a job or May 1st is unavailable or you're going out of town the second week of August or whatever. Go to calendar and this will give you your calendar. So then you can set all of your days here and you can block day, block day, you can block the time, you can be very specific. Usually as a photographer, I'm shooting mostly evening, sunset. So if I get a job on sunset, I block the whole day. I'm not trying to do another shoot that day. Or if I get something that's midday, then I won't block the day because I know most of the leads are gonna be for that sunset time and I can book two jobs in one day. So you come to the calendar and you block them out. So you see my April. 16th, 17th, 20th, 22nd, 23rd, all of these are blocked. These are all booked days. So this allows you to really make sure that you're not getting leads for days that you can't do. Now let's go back to the refund one. Why do I have a refund one? So this one here says refunded. Now what happened was the app, the algorithm is not perfect. It does have holes in it. So occasionally I do get leads for days that are blocked. So I got the lead and I looked at the date and I saw that I was booked that day. And I responded with, I'm sorry I cannot accommodate your request because I'm already booked that day. And then what I do is I go into payments, click request refund. So you find the lead that you can't do and you go to next, you click why you can't do it, calendaring issue and you press next and then it asks for additional information and you submit it. Now here's the thing. 
if this day wasn't blocked in your thumbtack calendar prior to the lead, the direct lead, they will not refund it because you didn't tell them. So it's really important to use that calendar feature to block the days that you do not want to work. It does happen where you have a blocked day and you'll still get a lead and they'll refund it. No problem. They're super easy going with this. The customer support with Thumbtack has been primo, like absolutely awesome. I've talked to them on the phone several times, talked to them over email several times. They have been amazing, but they do have rules and it makes sense. They have to make their money too. If they refunded every lead that, that you got, well, they couldn't continue to do what they do. If you take care of your side, they'll take care of you and it'll be a great relationship. Okay, now the other thing that's really good is Thumbtack will reward you for uh, doing well, getting lots of leads, getting lots of job done, uh, replying quickly. They will reward you for these things. And you'll get badges which will show up on your profile when customers look for you, they see top rated pro, and these are badges that you want. They have three different tiers. They have silver, gold, and platinum. Each one gets a different badge, Each, and then if you get platinum, you get a top pro, which is what you wanna go for. Here's the, what you need to accomplish to get these badges. So points needed, you need 300 points for silver, 1200 for gold, and 2400 for platinum. One hour response time. Now this, for silver, it's it's non, it doesn't apply. So you can respond to any of your leads and it's totally fine. However, for gold, you need 65% and for platinum, you need 75%. But the, the hours are business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I believe, double check on the website, I'll see if I can find it and put it up on the screen. So as long as you respond within an hour to your direct leads, then you're good. I have, I think I have 100% on that. The next is your star rating. So for silver, four and a half stars, gold, 4.6, and platinum, 4.7. So maintain a high rating and you're good. Finally, completed profile. This is really simple. Once you complete your profile, it'll tell you that it's complete. Uh, yes, you're good to go. So they're not really hard to get these statuses, but you do have to work at it and make it go right. Now, a couple of things that I've noticed that I don't particularly like, um, one, there's lots of competition, so you have to be on it. Now, that's not the biggest deal, but it's just something to be aware of. Has that affected me at all? No. Honestly, I close about 90% of the leads that I get, and I and the lead cost is totally worth it. Um, another con is the lead cost. It's, it's very variable. Like, it's never been too high. But for example, for a $2,000 job, I think I paid $50 for a lead. If you don't get that job, well, that's $50 that you spent. And it, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow, but that's another reason to be more aggressive and try and get those, get those leads and get those jobs. But that leads into if you are thinking that Thumbtack is going to just give you all these jobs and it's gonna be easy sailing with very little work, that's not the right, this is not the right app for you. You actually have to be willing to pay attention and get those leads. If not, if you just kind of sit back and hope, you're gonna end up spending a lot of money and it's it's not gonna be beneficial to you. And that's about it. So overall, Thumbtack has been super beneficial and I have completely booked my schedule March and almost all of April by using this app. And now I've spent quite a bit of money on leads, but I've made that money 10 times over back because a yeah, $10 job for a $300 shoot that's worth it. You're gonna spend marketing money anywhere you go. So if you spend money on Google Ads, you're spending money to potentially get leads. If you spend money on Yelp, you're spending money to potentially get leads. But with Thumbtack, you only spend money when you get a direct hot lead, which I found is way better and it's just, it works better. So if you have any questions about this app, message me below. I could do a full walkthrough, like a little course on it. If you're interested, let me know below. Don't forget, if you do sign up, please use that link below. It will help both of us. Uh, make sure you use the link, sign up, and then download the app. Don't mix it up because then we won't get the credit. Uh, otherwise, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Working for 10,000, so it's good to have you along. And I'll see you guys next week. I look forward to hearing all about your success and expanding your business. See you guys later.